Hey guys, it's Sherry Vegas here and today I'm going to show you a quick little tutorial on how to use alcohol and alcohol inks in your flow acrylic painting. I'll be using the global pouring medium as my medium today. So I'm rubbing alcohol which is about 70%. I'm using a Copic alcohol ink for one of my colours. And for the rest of my colours, I'm using the Global Flow Acrylic range. In a clean, large cup, I'm just adding my colours. I'm starting off with my black alcohol ink, which is the Copec marker. Then I am pouring the rest of my Flow Acrylic paints. I've also added 10 drops of alcohol, of my rubbing alcohol, into the bright blue colour. By adding the rubbing alcohol into one of the colours, the alcohol is going to push the paint and actually make it disperse in a really cool pattern. I always like to use the pouring medium that goes with the Flow Acrylic paints that I'm using, so that's why I'm using both Flow Acrylic paints from Global and the pouring medium, as I know they're going to work well together. The ratio that I've gone with today is a 50-50 of acrylic paint and pouring medium. The only one that doesn't have the 50-50 is my alcohol ink, which is around 70% pouring medium and 30% alcohol ink. It doesn't need to be exact. The reason why pouring mediums are so important is it stops the paint from creasing. What that is, is when the paint dries, it will have little fine cracks and splits through it. And this is what your pouring medium prevents from happening. Now I'm just placing the board on top of my cup and then flipping it over. This technique is called a dirty pour. Once I lift the cup off, I tend to let the paint just do its own thing and give it a bit of time to see how all the colours flow and what happens because you'll find within the first five minutes of your pour it will change dramatically. So I like to kind of just leave it, let it see what it's going to do and then add if I feel like it's necessary. With this work I've decided to add some more of my black alcohol ink with my pouring medium on top to create a cool pattern. Don't feel like you can only use acrylic flow paints when creating your flow art. I love to use all different types of paints and inks in my artwork. They all have a different viscosity which will create a different flow rate and you can get some amazing patterns. Now I'm just dropping some of my rubbing alcohol onto the artwork. What this does is the alcohol actually repels the paint and brings up the bottom layer of the paint to the surface. So you can keep adding more paint and playing around with your flow acrylic artwork until you're happy with the final result. Just remember if you do make a mistake you can always wipe off the paint and start again. Rubbing alcohol is a great product to use in your flow acrylic paintings because it creates really cool patterns but it will evaporate once the painting dries which won't leave any weird surface or any funny texture to your painting. Unlike silicones which silicones if you overuse can sometimes leave an oily residue to your artwork. Once you're happy with how your artwork is starting to form I just like to go around the sides and pick up the excess of the acrylic paint and just make sure all the sides are nice and covered. You can then also underneath 
your artwork, just scrape along the bottom just to make sure there's no drips on the underside of the piece. If you choose to, you can just get a blowtorch and lightly go over the surface to pop any bubbles. As you can see, it will also bring up colours from underneath and create another cool effect. Leave in the comment box below, but what other products do you like to use when creating your flow acrylic art that isn't an acrylic paint? I'd love to see your suggestions. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe as I post new videos every week. And if you like this tutorial, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out.